for sports uh, uh, development. How yeah. key will the local governments be to all that you, you'll, be, you'll be doing? The, the local government has a critical role to play, but the local government act has no provision for sports. Even the line up of councillors has no provision for sports. Sports is left at the whims and caprices of the chairman of the local government. If he wants, he, he does, does sports. If he doesn't he want, doesn't he forgets want. about it. So you only hear of the chairman's cup in football. And rather, there are over 22 Olympics, uh, summer Olympic sports that Nigeria can participate in. So equally, we have abundant opportunity for talents to try their hands in those 22 sports. How do, how do we correct this now? So the only way mm. to correct it is to get a legislation that is all encompassing in the states. Then at the national level, we, get, we have a national policy, but its enforcement has not been able to go beyond the federal level. And at the federal level, you have only opportunity for tertiary sports, just like you have tertiary education under the federal education. But the most critical aspect for you before you get to tertiary level in whatever thing you do is how you get the uh, elementary aspect, the basics right. So what we are now developing in the Sports Commission is a central national sports development plan, which will be launched in the next uh, four weeks. And it has, we are going to synchronize it with what the local government will do and what the state government will do. And then at the bigger level, we will look for a national broadcast right holder, a national title right holder, and then a national merchandising rights so that people can have access to merchandise with ease. Every aspect of sports, if it is properly articulated, can serve as a product for business-to-business -business relationship rather than being cap in hand, seeking sponsorship. Mm. What, what, why is it always a problem enforcing brilliant policies? Uh, because a lot of people talk to me and they tell me, look, you don't have sports policy. I said, no, we have sports we have. policies, we have uh, programs. The problem has always been implementing the will, political will of government to see through to these policies. How is that going to be different now? Well, why we're trying to do it different now is because government has made provision in its new policy for PPP. Public-private partnership is a legitimate business transaction in, in public service now. So we are taking the advantage of sports marketing to create a relationship that will have a win-win situation for both the sponsor and the sponsee. And then, but you can get a sponsor attracted if you don't have a deliberate program that is going to be consistent in the four-year cycle. So that is what we're working on. You'll be surprised that we have gone so far with this central calendar and it's going to run for four years before it's reviewed. And then once you're able to establish that relationship with the, uh, with the private uh, sector, you'll be able to control the issue of lack of funds in public service because the Nigerian budgeting system is annual. And the, the budget comes out for implementation three months into the new year. The sports calendar is... Cannot wait. Yeah, cannot wait. So we are quickly trying to adapt. Having gone through that crisis for so many years, I'm looking for a way out along with my colleagues. Okay, let, let's come to some other issues now. Um, very uh, practical issues that we can, we, can, we can relate to while hoping that all of these brilliant ideas uh, that you have, we, we see the light of day. In our own interest, you have to succeed, and we pray for you to succeed. I, I want to ask about the National Sports Festival. Um, what, what is the situation of, with the National Sports Festival, the 2014 edition? We're supposed to have it in, in, in Calabar, Calabar, Paradise yeah. Games. Yes. It was supposed to even mark our centenary, 100 years. Yep. But up till now, we're not hearing anything. What's the letters around the National Sports Festival? The, I just came back from Calabar yesterday. I paid a custody call on the governor who delegated the deputy governor to host us to a two-hour meeting where we discussed heart-to-heart -heart on the benefits, the relevance, and the need for mm. the hosting uh, right to be actualized. And uh, we had some issues in the discussion. The succeeding government that is just a few months old is fi has not finalized the articulation of the program and see it as a viable project mm. for national unity, a project that has a trickle-down effect for business, a project that has an opportunity that will promote the fundamental rights of youths to having access to sports facilities. And then the, the, a, a program 
that also has a legacy of facilities that will be left behind for your generations yet are born to use. So the government has uh, said we should give them some time to react because initially what they complain of is that they cannot complete the, the facilities. facilities that they have. Yeah, and but we're even showing some of the pictures of those facilities a few, few minutes exactly. ago. Exactly, but, mm. but, but you know, some of us are all in this business. We had already sent a delegation to look at the Plan B within Cross River State, and we found out that the new conference hall they built can adequately serve as the indoor hall for indoor sports. Oh, the indoor sports. Or sports. And then there are two other halls in Tinapa that can serve. Then they would not need to build any hostel because there are two universities, the Cross River State University and the, university. the, Calabar Univers the university of Calabar mm. and College of Education at Kangpa. So all those and the School of Nursing shall provide accommodation for all athletes to use. So we told them that uh, graphically they have already 85% of what is required for the games on ground and we need only a functional games. We don't need a flamboyant extravagant event and we need to complete the cycle. If we don't hold the festival now or this year, it's going to affect the 2016 edition. And there is no state you can walk into in less than five months and ask them to host. So with that take home uh, advice, the deputy governor promised he was going to get back to His Excellency, uh, Senator, Senator ben Professor Ayadi. Iben Ayadi. Ayadi yeah. and, uh, and they will get back to us in a fortnight. Well, so when are we likely to have the sports festival? We propose to Before them... Before the Olafrica Games or after? No, after the, we propose to them the first two weeks of December. And that will give us an advantage, even though we have lost a major advantage without doing it last year. The, the terrain politically last year was so charged mm. that such activities were relegated to the background. But uh, from the argument, it is um, the fundamental human right of every child to have access to sport. So for Nigerian youth, the opportunity for them to interact with their contemporaries around the country is in the festival. So the Sports Commission is still awaiting Cross Rivers. If it doesn't happen, we are going to explore uh, public-private sector partnership. Mm -hmm. Right now, the festival doesn't have a title holder. Right now, the festival doesn't have a broadcast right. Right now, the festival doesn't have a merchandise right. Right now, the festival doesn't have an official insurance company of the games. So we have products that we can go to the market. If we negotiate well, we will be able to raise enough funds and move out. A friend of mine has also introduced what he calls community funding. Just like when uh, Obama was contesting for election, he allowed people to contribute as little as $1. So if Nigerians begin one dollar here, yeah, one dollar yeah. there, so you can imagine, you get enough. Yes, if you can imagine, if sixty million Nigerians give, uh, I mean, prov that maybe contribute ten naira or one hundred naira or two hundred naira, which is feasible. Six hundred sixty million Nigerians, if they give you two hundred naira, you are taking of one point two billion. And that would be enough to, to, to put the and, games and together. The games, the games alone, organizationally, without infrastructure, cannot cost even uh, eight hundred million. Mm. So what of the corporate social responsibility value of a company like Dangote saying that, okay, I take the title right for 400 million? We're back in business. Nigerian youth will be excited. Okay, let, let's talk about um, um, the All Africa Games now. It's just a few weeks away. How yes. ready are we? All Africa Games is 58 days away. And I think in good English it's not a few weeks. But again, it's also a very dangerous. <laughs> it's very uh, dangerous. Let me just say less than two months yes, away. It is very dangerous mm. not to be on course. But the interesting thing is that we're already, category A sports are already one week all in camp. And they are going through fitness and medical assessment, which will be concluded on Sunday. And uh, fitness and conditioning and strengthening activities will continue for three weeks. And the first set of athletes will be to come after 30, uh, 30 days and we will go into tactical and technical sessions. We will also go into uh, tune up international competitions home and within, uh, uh, home and without uh, and outside Nigeria. So the All Africa Games is in preparation is in good course. Our target is to balance our medals mm. in accordance with our competitive strength and also maneuver through the strength of our opposition guys. For instance, South Africa 
had 33.